Hello students, welcome back to our channel Robo Army. In today's video we are going to make a hand follower as well as a hand repeller mobile robot. And during this video, you will learn how to change the logic on the motor driver for allowing our hand follower robot to work as a hand repeller robot also. So let's get started. For making our robot we need some components. First we have a double cell battery holder. One caster wheel which helps our robots in turning. A pair of IR sensor, one is on left side and other on right side. This IR sensor have three pins VCC, ground and output for signal. You have already learnt about the IR sensor working principle as IR sensor works on IR rays contains one receiver and transmitter LED and senses any object comes in front of it. Next we have AL293D motor driver. It is a H bridge motor driver suitable to drive DC motor up to 12 volt. It has two input and output for sensor and motor connections. A pair of wheels. A mini breadboard of 170 pins used for building temporary circuits. Lithium cell for powering our mobile robot. These are the chassis assembly, which we need to mount the components. Some jumper wires male to male and male to female. And at last two six volt DC motor. So let's start building the project. First we need to assemble the chassis and attach the motor and wheels on it. Mount the castor wheel using the screws and bolts which comes with the chassis kit. Mount the motor properly on the chassis. and pass the wire from the holes provided. Connect the wheel by matching the slot on the wheel and motor shaft. Now assembly is complete. Let's jump on the connection part. But first we need to mount the motor driver on chassis as you can see in the video I have used screws and bolts to fix it on chassis. Do the same and paste the breadboard on the front side as well. Attach the battery holder on the chassis and switch. Connect the wire to the output terminal of the motor driver using a screwdriver. Just check the motor rotation first and then connect the motor. First, we will make the connections of the hand follower robot. Starting with the wiring of IR sensor but before that, we need to mount the IR sensor using a screw and nut, and do the same for other sensor too. Then connect output of sensor 2 to the input 1. Insert the VCC and ground pins of the both sensors to the breadboard and the output wire of sensor 1 to the input 2 of the motor driver. Connect the battery to the motor driver. Now let's understand the circuit. The motor 1 and motor 2 are connected to the output terminal on the motor driver. The output 1 and output 2 of the IR sensors are connected to the input 2 and input 1 of the motor driver respectively, followed by blue and green wire as shown in the diagram. 
In this case, the sensor stops the motor when it senses any object in front of it. So, for changing the logic. We need to give a 5 volt supply to the first pin of input 1 as well as input 2. For powering the IR sensor we take plus 5 volt and ground from the motor driver and divide the supply using a breadboard. You can see that the current goes from plus 5 volt to both the sensors and input 1 and 2 of the motor driver. Same as the ground from the motor driver is provided to grounds of both sensors. Let's power up the circuit. Now insert the battery into the battery holder. To know more about the logic behind the motor driver, you can refer to our previous activity of motion mastery by just clicking on the I button or link below in description. You can see, it does not work when I placed my hand in front of it because this time the sensor only identify the white object or light color objects. When I put a white tape it starts following it. Hence our hand follower robot is ready. Let's move on to the connections of the hand repeller robot. As we know that we need to change the logic on the motor driver. Let's understand how to do that. For changing the logic we need to take out the output wires of sensors and plus 5 volt sensor powering wires from the motor driver. Output wire of sensor. 2 to the first pin of input 2 of the motor driver. Now insert the output wires of sensor 1 to the first pin of input 1 of the motor driver. Now take one male to female jumper wire and insert it between the 5 volt supply from the breadboard to the second pin of input 1. Take one more male to female jumper wire and insert it between the 5 volt supply from the breadboard to the second pin of input 2. You can check the connections according to this circuit diagram. Let's power up the circuit. Now insert the battery into the battery holder. You can see that our robot is moving backward when I take my hand in front of it. Hence our hand repeller robot is ready. Let's take the hand repelling robot and make it obstacle stopping robot. You have to make a small change in the circuit. Just take out the jumper wires that are in between the 5 volt supply from the breadboard to the second pin of input 1 and 2 both of the motor driver. You can also check the connections according to this circuit diagram. Now you can see that this robot is stopping when it comes in contact with any obstacle. Hence our obstacle stopping robot is ready. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe to our channel for more exciting upcoming projects. Till then keep learning.